Around the world, researchers are working to answer a lot of important questions about allports. Scientists are trying to answer questions like how does DNA lead to kidney problems and how does understanding this process help us to treat allport syndrome? This process is complicated and can seem frustrating to both those working in research labs and those desperate for a new treatment or cure for their condition. But lots of progress have been made in the last 10 years. Now, we have two drugs currently in phase 3 clinical trials. This is really exciting as very few drugs ever make it past phase 2. These drugs are now being tested for how well they might be able to treat Allport syndrome. These huge steps are possible because of advances in the techniques and technologies available to researchers. We can now take samples from patients like skin biopsies or blood samples and create organoids or mini kidneys in tiny dishes. As well as this, we now have fish and mouse models of Allport syndrome. The animals have the same symptoms as humans, so we can use these models to really understand the disease. New treatments focus on two main things, prolonging the life of kidneys to delay transplants and stopping disease progression entirely using new advanced techniques like gene therapy. Here, sharing ideas and techniques with researchers and communities across the globe can help to slot pieces of the jigsaw puzzle into place to tweak and refine things for the best possible outcomes in improving human health. This video was made possible by the Allport community.